Today, we're going to do a 20 minute intermediate yoga flow with lots of our favorite poses. I won't be giving a lot of verbal cues on how to stay safe and proper alignment. So if you're unfamiliar with yoga, you might want to go back to a yoga basics video on my channel and check some of them out or reach out to me and I'd be happy to help you out. You'll want to have maybe a block, a blanket and a strap or whatever props you normally use. Uh, I may have my back to you sometimes. I'm not going to take time to turn around and you may have your back to me sometimes, but that's okay. Just listen to my voice. So we're going to start laying down today. Keep your knees bent. And remember, most injuries happen in the transitions. So get there safely. Root your feet, maybe lift your hips gently, lengthening the lower spine and then tuck your shoulder blades together a little bit and then lengthen the back of the neck. Just gained about an inch in your spine. Close your eyes and rest your hands on your belly if you're comfortable. Perhaps your intention today is to be fully present as you focus on your breath. Let the to-do list and all the other things cluttering your mind just float away. Come back to your breath. One more deep inhale and exhale. Then inhale again. Reach your arms up towards the ceiling. And on your next exhale, draw your knees into your chest. Maybe give them a little hug towards the shoulders and rock from side to side. So we'll warm our spine and our backs a little bit. And then warm our core in all fours. So take your arms out to the side. Take your feet as wide as the edges of the mat, still knees bent. And gently windshield wipe your knees from side to side. Just go right to left. Inhaling through center, exhaling through the side. Then come on back to center, draw your knees into your chest again, and inhale your heels to the ceiling. Just check in with your hamstrings, the backs of the legs. Maybe you want to bend and straighten a little bit, point and flex the feet. Take your arms overhead one more time. Now you look like an L, flex your feet, reach your arms way behind you, maybe uh, like you're uh, trying to climb a ladder, reaching one arm and then the other arm away from you. And then exhale, bring your hands back to your knees, draw your hips, your heels toward your hips and safely roll to one side so that you can come on up to all fours. Three easy cat cows. Maybe curl your toes under and get a nice foot stretch here. Let's start with the exhale. So on your next exhale, hollow out like that Halloween cat shape. Maybe let your head drop, turn it from side to side a little bit, and then on your inhale, gently arch, getting long both front and back body. Do that two more times. Exhale and hollow out. Inhale and gently arch. Exhale and hollow out. Inhale, gently arch. And then come on back to neutral. Relax the feet down. Rock your hips from side to side. Let your wagon your tail. And then take your left leg out and your right thumb toward the ceiling. Just stay here for three breaths. Light on the supporting wrist. Like somebody's pulling on your ankle and your wrist. and release and go to the other side right leg out left thumb up nice and steady and exhale and gently release take your hips from side to side again then you're gonna walk your hands about one hand length forward and find your chaturanga top of the plank right and then Exhale, down to the mat. Relax your hips down, firm up your legs. Inhale, gentle cobra. 
exhaling forehead to the mat, maybe slide your hands a little closer to your waist, hips up first, reverse your push up, and exhale to child's pose. Inhale and come up to standing on your knees, take your arms up overhead, interlace your fingers, reach your index fingers up, and then we're going to go side to side, just gently exhaling to one side, inhaling through center, exhaling to the other. Do that two more times each side. Maybe even doing a little tug on the top arm with your opposite hand. Good. Come on back to neutral. Let your hands drop slowly and gently. Just rock back like you're a two by four and feel that stretch in the front body and core nice and firm. And then inhaling, come on back, shoulders over the knees and then exhale, walk yourself back out to your plank, knees or toes. Exhale, chaturanga. Push those feet into the mat, inhaling cobra. Exhaling, forehead to the mat, reverse your push up and find child's pose again. Take three breaths. On your next inhale, reach your arms forward, spread your fingers wide, and find your way to downward facing dog. A couple of breaths here, you might want to walk your dog. And come on back to stillness. So go ahead and take your shoulders back over your wrists. So adjusting as you need, top, top of a push up plank here. And then find your downward facing dog again. And then inhale, left heel up in the air. Come to a three limb plank, shoulders over the wrists, knee to the outside of the left elbow. And then inhale, lift your hips up and back, three limb dog. And then take the knee to the right elbow, so cross body. Inhale and leg up, three limb dog. And exhale, knee to the chest. And hold. And then right back up in the air. And come back to downward facing dog. And we'll get ready to go to the other side. So right leg up in the air. Three times, outer elbow, cross body. And knee into the chest, lifting up. Just moving with your breath. Exhaling, cross body. Inhaling, leg up. Exhaling, knee into the chest, starting to build some heat. Inhale, leg up. Come on back to downward facing dog. Soften your knees and walk your feet in to meet your hands. So we find our first forward fold and keep the knees soft. Hold elbow to elbow and just gently hang. And then drop your hips, coming through chair pose, so sweep those arms up. Gentle arch in the spine. And inhale, come to Tadasana. And exhale your hands to your heart. Okay, so here we go. First flow. Exhale everything out. Inhaling arms up. Gently dive forward. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale, the left knee is going way back in high lunge. Now we're going to turn that heel down and inward for warrior two. Find your warrior two. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale, soften. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale, warrior two. One more time, inhale, straighten. And exhale, warrior two. And then find your extended side angle, so forearm on the thigh. Or maybe you have a block and you want to rest your bottom hand lightly on a block. And then we're going to make three big circles. Inhale, take your arm towards your back hip. And exhale, down and forward. Inhaling around. And exhale down. Inhaling around. Exhale down. One more. Find your extended side angle. Arm up in the air. Chest nice and open. And then rotate yourself around in front of your mat. Find the top of the push up plank. And we'll flow. Exhale. Chaturanga down. Inhaling. Cobra. Maybe you're ready for an up dog. And then exhale right to downward facing dog. Start with the left leg, inhale the left leg up in the air, bend the knee, 
90 degrees and stack the knee over the hips. So like fire hydrant pose. Maybe you can look over your shoulder, find your toes in the air and your peripheral vision. If you're feeling kind of warm and bendy already, you could flip your dog. Then inhale, lengthen the leg, point the hips back down to the mat, pull that left knee into the chest, three limb plank, and then we find our way to high lunge on this second side. And then walk the back foot to meet the front, exhaling forward fold, inhale, half forward fold, exhaling hang, reverse your dive, arms up in the air, and exhale your hands to your heart, and you go right away again. Inhaling, arms up, exhaling, forward fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhaling, soften the knees, right leg way back, high lunge. Setting up for warrior two. Just listen to my voice, shoulders over the hips. Inhaling, straighten your front leg. Exhaling, soften. Inhaling, straighten. Exhaling, soften. Inhaling, straighten. Excellent, soften, and then find your extended side angle. So finger cheeks reaching way out for a moment. You might want to take yourself down to the block. And then take your hand toward your back leg. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. And then find that nice open. Expansive, extended side angle, fingertips reaching to the air for a couple of breaths. And then windmill yourself around, high lunge, and we'll finish our flow. So top of a push up plank, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, cobra or up dog, exhale, downward facing dog, and take a breath. Then your right leg's going to go up in the air. Bend the knee and stack the knee and the hips. Maybe gaze over your opposite shoulder. Arms firm. And then sweep that knee toward the chest. High lunge here. Back foot meets the front. Hang and forward fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhaling, hang. Reverse your dive. Fingertips up in the air. And exhale your hands to your heart. So our next sound salutation is going to be working with warrior one. So when you're ready, inhale, take your arms up. <clears throat> exhale, gently soften, let your head hang. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale, take the left leg back, but maybe not quite as far as for warrior two. And then make sure you've got your space down the mat. Hands to the thigh. And then sweep the arms up, warrior one. Three breaths here. Then reach your arms way far forward. Again, you might want to have your block. We're going to go standing split. So load your body weight on that front leg. Lift the back leg up in the air. Bell ring, point your toes. Maybe your head drops toward your knee. Couple rests. And then exhaling, safely find your high lunge. And finish the flow of top of the push-up plank. Exhaling, chaturanga. Inhaling, cobra, up dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. We're going to go back to that same side. So inhale the right leg up in the air. Pull the knee towards the chest. Find your warrior one legs again. Space down the mat. Bring your hands to your thigh. And inhale, sweep your arms up. So now go ahead and straighten your front leg. Check in with your hips, make sure they're pointing for the front edge of the mat. And then fold forward, flat back. We're going to take revolve triangle. So this is just from above the waist. Rotate toward your front leg. Maybe that arm goes up in the air. Super challenging. Exhaling, soften. Find your high lunge. Bring your back foot to meet the front, forward fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhaling, hang. Reverse your dive. Find your Tadasana, take a breath. And exhale your hands to your heart. 
Second side, inhaling, arms up. Exhale, we gently dive. Three to half forward fold. And now the right leg goes back, setting up for warrior one on this side. Hands to the thigh, extend the spine as you sweep your arms up for three breaths. Good time to come back to that intention, being fully present. Sweep your arms forward, pull that low belly in. All right, we're coming to standing split. So load that body weight on the front leg and lift the back toes. And then safely find your high lunge, transitioning into your flow plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhaling, cobra or up dog. Exhaling, down dog. Take a breath. So same side, now that left leg is gonna come up and forward. Find your warrior one legs again. Back heel down and in. Sweep your arms up. And then straighten your front leg, bring your hands to your hips. Setting up for revolve triangles. So fold forward, front leg straight. Maybe the opposite hand comes to the shin. And then from above the waist, keep the pelvis level, rotating into a revolve triangle. Reach the crown of the head out, forward. And then soften, find your high lunge again. Bring the back to foot to meet the front, forward fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale and hang. Reverse your dive, fingertips up in the air. And exhale your hands to your heart. Okay, one-legged balance and a hip stretch, right? So tree pose, maybe you want to start on the left leg. Choose whatever variation works for you. A few breaths. And then release the foot off the leg, cross it right over the standing knee and sit down into your heel for standing pigeon. So get that hip stretch. Go deeper if you like. And come on out of it, walk it out, ready to go to the other side. You can try and do the same thing on your second side, right? When you're ready, releasing the foot, you find your hip stretch. Standing pigeon. And gently release and walk it out, shake it out. So we're gonna bring ourselves down to the mat, inhaling arms up. Soften your knees, exhale and dive. Hop, step, baby step, low lunge, whatever. Get yourself to the top of the push-up plank. And then exhaling, chaturanga down. Inhaling, one more cobra or up dog. And then exhale, pull your low belly in and find a child's pose. So remembering that all this movement is to enable us to be still. So we're gonna safely transition onto our backs I'm going to come to all fours, shift my hips to one side, swing your legs around. Maybe do a little core work, coming down 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1.
maybe one bridge pose before we finish. You could do this with a block and make it a supported bridge, or you can do it traditional way. So inhaling, lifting your hips. And just get wherever you want to go safely. Five breaths. those feet, soften the jaw, when you're ready, safely coming out of it, when you drop your hips, rest for a breath or two, it's like rebooting your computer, and then find your Shavasana. Don't cheat yourself out of the stillness. Stick with your breath. I'll let you know when it's time to finish. Take another deep breath. Maybe even sighing out the mouth, exhaling. <sighs> and then get moving however seems right for you. You could bend your knees, you could take a big overhead stretch. Eventually, finding your way to seated. Feeling that extra inch you gained in your spine nice and tall. Maybe you keep your eyes closed. If you'd like, bring your hands to your heart center. Give yourself that mental pat on the back for showing up so that you can be your best for others. And remember, yoga helps us to endure what can't be cured and to cure what cannot be endured. Just keep moving, friends. It's a journey. The spirit in me honors the spirit in each of you. Namaste. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and pass it on to your friends. Thanks.